YouTube, this is Michael Kazmierski Don. if you guys don't know who I am, and welcome to episode 19 of the Blind Piper Reacts series. So, quite an interesting happened since a couple days ago, um, or technically the day before I'm recording this. Somebody on the Perfect Pitch Facebook page shared a link of a song by this soprano that I've never heard of before. Her name is Marie Harrington. And I was talking with Haley, and if you guys don't know who Haley is, she's literally the coolest girl I've ever met in the world by far. Um, I was talking with Haley, I'm like, have you ever heard of Marie Harrington? She's like, yeah, I've heard of her because my teacher introduced me to her and also that post on the Perfect Pitch page. And I'm like, oh my gosh! And so I subscribed to Marie, and so um, she's pretty cool, too, because she's a really good opera singer, as far as I know, and has perfect pitch. I mean, uh, duh. Like, that would be the coolest girl in the world, as long as she's, like, age-appropriate. I'm guessing she's quite a bit older than Haley and I. But, um, but yeah, I thought I'd react to, uh, one of her, one of the, the piece that this person shared on that fer perfect pitch Facebook page. Um, this one is called darkness and I think it's just her and backed by a piano um, I may be mistaken but but here we go let me make sure the volume's up as loud as it can be okay yes okay <clears throat> all right so here we go and uh, by the way this she she reminds me a whole lot of one of my other favorite opera singers her, her name is Abby Fisher and I can put both a link to that so, to Marie's channel and Abby's um, YouTube channel in the description, so that you guys can definitely see see how similar those two sopranos are. Abby Fisher is really amazing. She's basically the modern American equivalent of Cecilia Bartoli. So yeah, so here we go. If it's playing. Might be a long, long silence at the beginning. Maybe it was meant to have that long silence at the beginning. Oh, drum like chord. This is definitely a 24 note per octave. This is really cool. Twenty four per octave is nothing new to me though, because I've had dreams where music was like that when I was really little. She had to use like a, a two pianos like two and fifty cents apart to hit those notes. Cause I've tried, and it's very hard for you to hit the in-between notes. The piano part is... sounds a little bit like Ravel, a little bit. Ooh! You've got an amazing vibrato, Murray. I love that. Holy Matsilo. Definitely. Ooh! Awesome! I'm so glad you don't have a wobble. You're joining the ranks of the amazing opera singers, Marie. I love you for that. You've got like a 7.5 seven vibrato. You're amazing. I've heard a very similar piece for two pianos, two and fifty cents apart by Charles Ives. Haley said that's one of her least favorite composers, so 
It also kind of reminds me of, there's a composition by George Crumb, written in 1970, called Ancient Voices of Children. This kind of reminds me of that piece a little bit, but Ancient Voices of Children is several movements. This one, I think, is just the one. And keep in mind, I'm blind, so obviously I would not be able to see how she can... Because somebody mentioned, on the Perfect Pitch page, somebody mentioned the use of an iPad to hit those notes. Um, the only possible way I could imagine her being able to hit those notes dead on is, you know, listening to the actual notes playing in headphones, you know? Especially when you're only used to singing 12 per octave music. And I think it may be over. Um, while on the subject of Marie Harrington, I'd like to react to another piece that I just found just today. Um, it's called um, On a Tired Housewife. Whoa! You've got a hot vibrato, Marie. Hot vibrato. <laughs> this is very Abby Fisher like. I like that chanting. Ah, hot vibrato there. Ooh. Pretty good runs, not as good as Christina Dietikon, but still. Ooh. I'm so glad I subscribed to her. <laughs> She's yet another amazing opera singer. Whoever taught her, taught her correctly, because she's lucky not to have that wobble that almost every opera singer has nowadays. Like that! Wow. Your vibrato is truly hot, Marie. No other words can describe it. Hot vibrato. You seriously have a hot, hot vibrato. And I even commented, I'm like, hey, I'm glad your vibrato is not the all too common wobble that like 99% of most opera singers have these days. This is so amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad I discovered yet another amazing soprano. <laughs> I wonder who taught her. I mean, I wonder if Abby Fisher actually taught her to, to do that. Or was it Joyce Di Donato? I don't know. Whoever it was, they, they taught her correctly. Because, you know, you look up, like, let's just say, I want to just give an example here. So, like, O Mio Babino Cato, right? Like, the most common opera song that almost every single opera singer learns. It's kind of like the, so in bagpipes, it's basically the Scotland the Brave, like every piper learns Scotland the Brave. Well, every opera singer, every soprano learns O Mio Babino Cato. Um, you look up maybe like 250 versions of O Mio Babino Cato, and you only get like five or ten good ones, five to ten good ones that have really good vibrato, because everyone else um, is infested with an awful wobble that I can't even stand. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, I'm definitely tempted to, you know, react to more songs that Marie produces. Um, this was actually pretty amazing. She reminds me of some other Sopranos too, such as, uh, um, what is her name? Catherine Blomshield Lewick. Um, she did quite a few atonal pieces on an album she produced in 2009, so she's actually um, another one of those great rivals. Um, I'm absolutely sure Marie must have been taught to trill, because 
that amazing vibrato definitely shows. Um, I mean, according to what I've learned from Joyce Di Donato, from the videos, YouTube videos of Joyce Di Donato, she says that, you know, if you can't trill, you won't really have a long-lasting vibrato, and it's going to turn into a wobble and all that. And so I'm really glad that Marie is one of the other few, and sadly few, opera singers that does not have a wobble. And I love that. That's just, wow. Wow. So, um, yeah, so those are two songs by Marie Harrington. Um, you guys are definitely going to look forward to episode 20 because I'm going to react to Madeline Bailey, who is one of my favorite pop singers in the world, um, to tell you guys why her voice is so hot and why she's probably one of the hottest pop singers I've ever heard. Um, but that'll be, in, that'll be another day. Um, so yeah, if you're new to this, feel free to hit like and subscribe um, so that you can definitely um, listen to a Piper's perspective on really interesting music that you probably wouldn't have ever heard before or, um, you know, just what a Piper thinks of, you know, general like pieces that some people heard before. Um, but yeah. Um, so, um, have a great day, and join me for episode 20 of Blind Piper Reacts next time. Ciao.